Okay, Golden Flowers is gonna be a fun one to explain. I have the lyrics all right here, and uh... <gasps> I wrote this song about my favorite video game, Undertale. And I know Undertale is kind of known for its like cringy fan base or whatever, and that's what put me off of it for a long time. I was like, Undertale, like, come on, that game's for nerds. And then I finally played it in like, like three years after it came out, and um, I was like, this is the greatest thing I have ever seen with my own two eyes. Okay, not really, but I was really, really loving it, and um, kind of helped me through a difficult time, and um, it made me cry like three times. The game makes me cry all the time. The music is just so good. I'm so inspired by Toby Fox too. He's just fantastic creator. And so um, I wanted to make like a tribute song to as a tribute to the plot of Undertale. So. <laughs> it doesn't really make sense as a double meaning. It kind of only makes sense in the plot of Undertale, but you can kind of, if, if it weren't about Undertale, I guess it would be like forgiving a lover who's kind of a hot mess <laughs> or a friend who's kind of just a hot mess and you're like, you're a fucking fucked up person, but I forgive you. You know, that's kind of what you could interpret it as, but really it's just about Undertale. All these lines are about specific characters like, I want to see you in the light where you don't have to fight what you're feeling. That's just about all the characters of the underground. I don't want to, I don't want to give any spoilers, but... I want to see you take a break from all the war that you wage on your demons. That line was specifically about Sans because Sans is always like, like, I don't know if you guys care about Undertale spoilers, but when you, he is, um, you know, he, he kind of alludes to this backstory where he's kind of like, you know, a, you know, sad kind of broken character. And it's like, oh God, you know, I feel sorry for these dudes. I want to let them be out in the, in the real world and stuff and then <laughs> and ooh -wah, that those are the official lyrics and ooh -wah, <laughs> i know the truth is complicated well ooh -wah f actually is a reference to a song th these songs from undertale in the options menu the songs <laughs> um depending on what season you're playing the game the, the name of the song and the actual song in the options menu will change and the annoying dog will be wearing like a different thing on his head and um they all have different names like uwa so heats uwa so holiday and, and they all kind of sound similar but they're different styles of the same song and i thought that was kind of a really random reference to sneak in there but that's what i'm referencing with uwa <laughs> and then i know the truth is complicated abominations you've created that's just about alphys for some reason people call her Alphys. I've never called her that. I always call her Alphys. She's one of my favorite characters and um, I had to throw in that little line about, you know, how fucking sad she must be that she created all these like... When she was just trying to save people. Um, and who am I to fight you blindly? Help me feel the burning soul inside me. That's just about the basically the combat mechanics of the game where, you know, if you choose not to fight, you get a much better ending. And also your little heart that you move around to avoid bullets is called your soul. And that's why I said that. <laughs> so want to see you break down a barrier, want to see you wish on the stars. That is all completely literal in the context of Undertale because you literally have to break a barrier to exit the underground and literally wish on the stars because the um, um, there's this scene in Waterfall where you you talk to these echo flowers or whatever that replay conversations from the past and they say like, oh man, I wish I could wish on the stars or whatever. So that's what that's about. And you'll know forgiveness is everything when I take you in my arms. Man, I cried when I played that part of the game. <laughs> in that part of the game where you... I don't want to explain too much who is if you haven't played the game, but when you... Most beautiful thing I've ever seen. You just hug him and... It's such a bittersweet moment and... um yeah, I love that. And I cried when that happened. And then uh, you try to save all your little plans. Think you need some saving too. That was, uh, that's about too, because you need some saving. There's literally a button you have to press on that says save and you have to save him um, from his own, you know, evil. And then with golden flowers in my hand, I'll forgive you. So golden flowers is just about like, again, literal golden flowers in the game because flowey is a flower and the whole scene with, with, um, back in the day, they were in this field of golden flowers, so it's just kind of a recurring theme, and then when you first see he's sitting on a field of golden flowers, well, standing on a field of golden flowers, and it's just kind of a recurring thing in the game. Um, 
So I, <laughs> I want to take you to the sea. All the sweet liberty you could ask for. There's this like octopus kind of sea monster character named Onion San, and I <laughs> specifically wanted to write a line about them because I fucking love them. <laughs> They're just so cute, and um. And I felt so bad for Onion San when, when I saw them in the underground. <laughs> and then you try to leave and Onion San is like, oh, oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> like they seem so sad. And I was just like, man, I I just want to take your ass to the ocean right now so you can be free and not have to live in this little ass lake thing. And then in Deltarune, I wrote the song before Deltarune came out, and then when Deltarune came out and I saw I was like, Yes! No, again, spoilers for Deltarune, but um, <laughs> I want to see you be a star. I want to see how you are on the dance floor. That's specifically about Metaton because Metaton is like a star. He's like a super famous person and he says right before he does this little disco move where he, he tries to like hit you with laser beams from a disco ball. He says, but how are you on the dance floor? And I wanted to incorporate that line into the song and then um, I want you to be one with your body, bring the music to the party. That is about the ghosts. Again, spoilers for Undertale, but it's technically a ghost, and so is Napstablook. And um, so I wanted- oh, and also the Mad Dummy! The Mad Dummy, I forgot, they're also a ghost, so um... I, I was like, man, these ghosts are like so sad without a body to inhabit. I mean, it has a body, but like... Mainly it's about Napstablook, because I wanted them to have a body, and just like... Because that's what they always wish for, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, and also, Napstablook is a DJ, so... And I was like, yeah. Um, and then when you get out there, there's a boulevard and a captivating view. Huge spoilers for Undertale, but when... And then maybe I should have said this a while ago. I want to stay with you. And the cool thing is, this game has multiple endings depending on what you choose. And the song also has multiple endings. But I officially chose to record the good ending, the pacifist ending of Golden Flowers, because um, there are two different lines that you can choose from at the end of the game. And asks you, um, you know, what do you want to do? And then you have two options. You can say, I want to stay with you, or you can say, I have places to go. Um, <laughs> and I first wrote the song with I Have Places To Go as the ending. So I wrote, um, when you get out there, there's a boulevard, you can feel the cool wind blow. You know I can't stay with you forever, I, I have places to go. But I crossed that out because I was like, God, that's too sad. So then I made the real ending, which is I want to stay with you. So I thought that was really cool how the game has multiple endings and the song also has multiple endings, which was not even intended. It just kind of happened that way. Um, but anyway, I love this song, and, um, I love the game, obviously, which is why I wrote this song about it, and, um, yeah, I hope you love Golden Flowers, too.
That's golden flowers.